Did X-Men Evolutions X-23 rip off Dark Angel's Max? So, I've never, and I mean I've never noticed the similarities between the two characters. And the fact that they came out three years apart from each other makes me wonder did somebody get the idea from like you know watching the dark angel television series so like i was watching the second episode of dark angel in the first season such a good episode right and so as i'm watching it i thought to myself man you know it's a shame when fox had the x-men movies they didn't capitalize on X-23 that much and stuff like that, only in that Logan movie. Oh, by the way, this video discussion is only gonna be about X-23 from the X-Men Evolution cartoon, not the comic and not the movies. And yes, I know, X-23 is her designation and Laura is her real name, all right? But look, I like saying X-23 because it sound cool. Also, in the cartoon, she didn't have a real name. She was only known as X-23. So don't, like, get all, like, pissed off talking about that's her slave name and all this other crap. You know what I'm saying? People need to stop fighting about this on Twitter. I'm not joking. People literally fight over this and stuff about her name. So, let's look at some of the details between the two characters. There's way too many similarities not to be a ripoff and stuff. So, Max and the Dark Angel series came out on Fox in 2000, and it was created by James Cameron and Charles H. Eagley. And so X-23, she debuted in the X-Men Evolution cartoon series in 2003, just three years after Dark Angel came out. And she was created by Craig Kyle and Christopher Yost. So right off the bat, both of them are genetically modified. So like, Okay, Max, she was created in a laboratory from, like, you know, an actual woman donor and everything. And they pumped the mom full of, like, you know, vitamins and chemicals and all this stuff to genetic modify to make the ultimate, like, weapon and stuff, right? And so she was created in this, like, government laboratory, um known as Manticore, which is kind of like this off the record, black ops, like government facility, right? And so X-23, she was created by Hydra. Hydra is like the anti-shield. They're like an off the books, rogue government organization. However, X-23, is straight up built from like testing tubes. She's an actual clone. Now, when it comes to that of Max, Max is the primary like, you know, X series um, person, but like she also has clones of herself. Um, some that are like the same age, others that are like younger. So the whole cloning thing is very similar. Both of them escaped the facility when they was both really young, around the same age, like a teenager and stuff. Although X-23 might have been just a little bit younger, I'm not sure. Obviously, both are female and stuff. But this is where it gets even crazier. Both are Latina. Come on, that's more than a coincidence right there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The fact that they are like either both Latina, both Hispanic, not sure exactly what their race is, but the fact of the matter is 
you know, they're both like Spanish. Also in the comics, you know, X-23, she was born by like a woman and everything, even though she is still the clone of like Wolverine, she was still birthed like the old fashioned way and stuff. And kind of like similar to, you know, Max and stuff like that, right? Both of them have an extremely bad attitude. Max is pissed off because of like, you know, how she sees the world, how the world treats people, what all she went through and everything, you know, cause she had to survive on her own and growing up when she escaped the facility and then started living with like, you know, a kind of like a foster family type thing. And it was terrible. X-23 is just automatically pissed off because she's the clone of Wolverine and Wolverine's a very pissed off person. Plus, she doesn't like the idea of being used as a weapon. Both are highly skilled in like hand-to-hand -hand combat. Both are super strong, both are very fast, and both are very agile in their thing. Both were designed to be the ultimate weapon. Also to be, uh, also they were designed to be like spies, like, you know, cause they can blend in in any type of an environment. They're quick thinking and everything. They're also assigned to be like, you know, the ultimate soldier and also like the ultimate spy. Both of them are in search for something. Max is in search of like, you know, anything she can find out about her past, like her birth mother, the woman that helped her on the side of the road. And she's also looking for what she considers her other brothers and sisters, the other laboratory like soldiers um, who also escaped and everything. She's in dire need of looking for them. X-23, she is trying to find out all she can about Wolverine and trying to track him down because she wants to kill him because she's just angry that she went through all this crap because of him, but he had nothing to do with it. But if he was never born and he was never in the X project, then like this would never have happened to her. Both girls are like trying their best to evade their um the the organization that created them max is constantly hiding from manticore and everything and like x23 is always hiding from hydra to where she decides to take them out in her like well kind of her last appearance oh her last speaking appearance that is she literally takes them out max she takes out manticore um, the cloning facility and part of like the rest of the building in the finale of season one and tries to take the rest of them down in season two. I'm telling you, there are too many similarities and everything, man. Um, both have like the designation like X in their name. Like both are part of like an X series. So like X-23, she's named that because she's the 23rd um, clone that survived and she's part of the Weapon X program. The X series in Dark Angel is just what they designate their like, you know, their super soldiers and stuff. I'm telling you, man, it's too crazy. And then what's even crazier is that, okay, this is not too much of a similarity. It's just kind of ironic. Max name, of course, starts with an M. X-23 in the comics is named Laura, that's an L. L and M are very close to each other in the alphabet. <laughs> oh man, like this is just nuts and everything. Cause I was thinking to myself, man, you know what they should really do on Disney Plus? Make like, you know, an X-23 series similar to that of like Dark Angel. And then I started thinking, wait, hold up. They're too similar <laughs> and everything. I'm like, ah, crap. They must have ripped them off <laughs> because in Dark Angel, they live in a dystopia in the year from 2009 to 2019. But in X-Men Evolution, 
their life is not a dystopia, but you know, mutants are prosecuted, treated badly, so it's kind of like that for mutants, you know what I'm saying? But you know, they still got e electricity and you know, stuff like that. But yeah, man, I truly believe <laughs> because you know, this happens all the time. Um, comic book creators, cartoon creators, they watch other projects and they pick and choose and snip here and snip there. I bet you anything. I bet you anything. Like Christopher and Craig, they must have watched Dark Angel because Dark Angel was a huge thing on Fox in the year 2000, at least the first season, until they crapped all over the second season and messed it up. And so I bet you they're all like, hey, you know what? We didn't, we probably can't bring in like, you know, um, Lady Deathstrike because she's tied up in the movie so let's create our own and they're probably like hey remember that show dark angel <laughs> and stuff you know what i'm saying like it's just like i'm just like i'm just assuming you know what i'm saying because it's too many similarities there's just too many similarities in their thing Oh, another one. They both love to wear black and black leather. Either like black jeans, black leather, black cotton. They always wear black when they're out in the field. And even their costumes are vaguely similar in everything. Like Max just basically wears like um, black jeans, a long black sleeve shirt and a leather vest, whereas X-23 wears leather pants and a leather jacket with pads and everything. And they both even have brown hair. I mean, somebody had to have watched Dark Angel. Somebody had to, man, somebody had to. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.